H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. All right, uh, don't you need to write a system model I explore? Yes. Basically, if you're testing different uh, browsers, obviously, you're going to write what browser you're testing because it's a web application. So if you want to test uh, Internet Explorer, you want to open Gmail in Internet Explorer browser, then you're going to say iExplore.exe. Right? Or uh, if you want to say here, this one I want to use, I want to open in Firefox, then you'll get this Firefox. Okay, so you're going to mention on which browser you want to test and open this application. Okay. Um, I mean, like if you don't mention any of these, any of these things, it's going to open in the default browser, whatever is the default browser on your system. That's what, right? So whenever uh, you can also change the default browsers on your systems. So you go to file settings, then it's going to ask uh, which which one you want to set as a default browser on your system, right? And then if you don't mention anything, then it's going to open in the default browser. All right, so those are the, that's the difference between the keyword view and the expert view. And the expert view has different columns. So Learnpad 5 don't have any support on Opera, but uh, I believe that 12 has that support. Okay, so here you have this uh, these different columns. Item is nothing but what is the top object you are selecting, and the operation is what you're doing on that object, and the value column is nothing but your test data, and this is the documentation part, what this line is doing. So this is the keyword view and editor view. Is this clear or any questions on the difference between the keyword view and editor? Okay, limitations we are going to discuss later. Not now, it's too early to talk about the limitations. All right, so then the next uh, feature is, um, so if you, this is the, anyway, the basic functionality with the EFT tool, right? So we developed uh, this object report, shared object report, right? Now the next step is you're going to associate the repository. So how are you going to associate repository? Go to resources and select associate repositories. And you're going to, you can associate more than one repository to your script, okay? You can associate as many repositories as you can to your test. So click on this plus button. And you're going to select the object repository that we created before. And then select this action one. Click on this great time button. So you're going to associate your script to this repository. 
and then click OK. So once you associate the repository to your script, then you will get all those objects available in the scripting. If you go to this toolbox tab here, then you see those objects exposed in the script. Now you can do the scripting part. So what are the objects that you want to use in your script? Just double click on them. Okay, I want to do the on this particular application. Right? I want to first enter the username. Okay, so double click on this. This is the username object, right? Then what's the next one? The password. What's the next one? The login button. Just double click on those objects. So you generate the script. And now you're going to enter the data. Okay, what is the username you want to set? So demo CSR. And what's the password you want to set? CRM SAP. So that's all. Not this is basically the, the login script how we did from shared object point. All right, so it is clear how to create, like we learned, how to create shared object repository, how to associate object repository to your script, and then how you can generate the script from object repository. There are the three steps. Any questions? Okay, so whoever is having EFT, can you please quickly do these three steps? Because these are the very basic steps. I want everybody to be familiar with these things. Can you please open this, your EFT, if you have? I know some of you guys have already installed this EFT. Can you please open, create, set up this repository? Because I already posted the link. Even not only this application, you can work with any application. Just I want to be familiar with how to create shared object repositories, how to associate, and then how you can do the scripting. Okay, take 10 minutes time, complete this. And the people who, are, who don't have this uh, EFT installed, then please make sure it's available, it's, it will be ready by next class. Mean by Sunday. All right, sir. Do this and let me know if you have any. If you get into any issues, any application you take, whether you can try with this CRM application, the link I have already posted in the chat window, or you can take any other application. Create shared object repository for that application. Do the scripting part, or you can take gmail.com or yahoo mail.com, any application, say bank of America.com. No, basically, like you cannot extend the registration. Um, once it expires, probably you're going to install the VMware and then we can install another 30 days. Okay, tech support people are going to help you on that. Extension of shared was is .tsr file. Okay, extension is .tsr.
Hello, sir. Hmm? Uh, I'm trying to add the object, but uh, it's saying that uh, this, the location you clicked associated with several objects, select the required object, but it's it's not getting the browser page object. It's I'm not getting that thing. Is anything wrong I'm doing? No, what did it say? I mean, uh, what is that browser you're using? Uh, Firefox. No, Firefox don't work. So probably, like, you need to have this. Uh, just open in Internet Explorer. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, Sam, uh, it, it does not uh, work on other browsers. Just wanted to check. Like Google Chrome and uh, Firefox. Google, don't use, don't use any Google Chrome or Firefox. Use Internet Explorer. Okay.
No, even web bar they select, but see if you want to if you want to work with Firefox, you need to install some patch. Okay. So there are some patches available. I'm using Internet Explorer 11, but uh, I'm having the issue of not, not identifying the object. When Internet Explorer 11 should work. Um, Internet Explorer yeah, 11. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You're using Internet Explorer 11? Yep, yeah. And you have to learn point five, right? Yeah, you have to eleven eleven point five. Yeah, should work. Eleven point zero point nine. Oh, are you eleven? Okay. Windows eight operating system. Sam, uh, my name is Shamal. I have a question. Um, in KDP, we used to have like resource pan. Uh, on UFC, do you call this a toolbar or do you call it a different name? Which one? Uh, KDP, we used to call it like a resource pan where you can like associate all the function library and um, all the repositories with the actions. Uh, in EST, do you have that resource pen or do you call this as the uh, toolbox or solution explorer or something like that? No, in EFT, basically, like you, you see the toolbox. Solution explorer is different, like where you see actual the script and everything. Okay. Solution explorer is going to tell you what are the, say, what are the object repositories that are associated to your script, whereas uh, the resource pen in EFT is called the toolbox. Thank you. So, but uh, coming to this, uh, I don't know whether this year to eleven. No, it doesn't matter like whether you're using Windows 8 or Windows 7. So you're going to select, say, under view, select this toolbox. Okay, it's under view menu, select this toolbox. So first you have to associate. Associate your object report. Probably like the, did you select this action one? Okay. 
it will select the action one tab. Share your system and look at it. Okay, Praveen, like you can Google it and then see if the UFT supports. Yeah, I'm trying that. Yeah. Hmm? yeah, I'm I'm Googling it. Yeah. Share your system, Sunita. Hmm? Okay, let me know whenever you're ready. Uh, okay. Yeah, probably like you can install that one and see if it works. So this way, like, uh, see, basically, whenever you do the scripting part, right, even when you go to this uh, object repository, then you're going to double click on this object. It generates all these lines, right? Password and the login. So now you're going to enter the values. So this is where you're going to enter the data. So demo CSR, you have to put the space after set. So this is the username and uh, this is the password. That's it. So those are the two values. Uh, so now, did you get this toolbox? Sam, uh, I think it's the same thing um, what Sunita said. Like, I, I associated Objects. Okay. Uh, I'll give you one second. I'm just checking. Okay, I so got it. Sorry. I got it. Hey Sam, don't you have to do like your password uh, set secure or like encrypted or something? Sorry? In password, when you put like set, don't you have to do like uh, like encrypted or like set secure or something like that to generate the password? I mean, you can, you can encrypt the password. There are some tools uh, that are available. If you want, you can do the encryption also. So if you go to the, there is a, if you go to this functional testing, there are tools. And there is a password encoder tool. So you can use this tool, you have to encode the passwords, encode the password. So with on this, say you can enter here, say CRM SAP, right? So that's the password. And then say click on generate. So it's going to give you the encrypted version. So copy this, copy this encrypted version, and then paste it here. Okay. Yeah, I know that, but like when do you do it? Like when your requirement says you have to do encrypted version, or just put it whenever you. Yeah, basically, like why encryption is required is even if somebody look at your script, they don't know what the password is. Using. Right? 
Hello? Yeah. Uh, Sam, I have a doubt. Uh, when I'm uh, opening this, uh, I'm clicking on the open tabs page, uh, I'm not getting what all you got in this uh, toolbox. Only I'm getting three icons. Three icons? Yes. What is that? That's what I didn't understand. What is that? Three icons? Icons, like, uh, this open tabs CRM shortcuts open tabs. It is not identifying all the objects which are present there. I mean, did you select the page object when you create the state of this part C? Is page object mean, uh, you're saying about the whole page or? Uh, no, no. See, when, whenever you create the state of this part, right? Yes. So here you are going to add objects. Okay. Okay. So when you say add objects, so when you click on this page, it's, did you select the page from this array? Oh. Okay. Oh. oh yes. Yeah, select sorry. the page from this. Okay. Okay. Generally, yeah. you'll get all the objects. Okay. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. All right, so what's your question? You can share and then show me what, what questions you have. Whenever I try to... Uh, no, you want to share your system or no? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you are the presenter. You can share. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what questions you have? Okay, if I want to create any... Which one? I want to show you some first. I don't know how to get some I mean, is it related to this one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Whenever I try to add some objects, okay. I go to Gmail. And when when I click add object, when I try to do just add one object, it's not accessing it. Why? Do? Can you move that window? Which one? That object selection window. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to show it to you again. If I want to just add objects, not the uh -huh. whole page, but just one object, like yeah. email, it's not showing us here. Why? Can you? See? Yeah. Can you move this window? Yeah, the top window. Just move. Don't close. Mm -hmm. You have to move. Okay. Okay. Is it okay? Do. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, when I oh, I try to open Gmail, can you see this now? Hey, add, add object. Okay, add object. And can I my Google search appearing? See, when I start... No, 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 that's what. Right. You're not supposed to select the, the bottom. Like, see, can you, can you minimize this window? Mm -hmm. Can you close that results window? Okay, now you do this. 
Okay, so you got it right. So when I try to click on email, it says email password. Do I have? I don't want to select both of them at the same time. I just want to select this one text box. Is it like combined one? Um. So did you? Can I select it? on sign on? It's selecting something else. It's not doing the action if I want to do it. I mean, you have to really maximize that achievement. But if you select the piece object, then it's going to add everything. Yes, uh, yes, it's adding everything that way. But when I try to, you know, okay, now you uh, have click on sign on. Sign in is saying something else. It's uh, uh, taking some other command. Okay, let's try one more time. It's always better to add it from uh, the object file. Then it's so you can know what that object is, and then you can add it. Let's try one more time. Add object. Okay. I'll try to click on finding now. Okay, I'll add object here, and I'll try to click on finding. That is showing browser email page in the Okay. Okay. So that's weird. Okay. So probably let me try on my system and see. Okay. But uh, if you try on that uh, CRM application, is it? Uh, did you no, try? No, it's, it's showing the same. The same thing. Showing the same thing on that system. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, let me try on my system. Okay. I'll show it to you. Alrighty. So let's uh, try. Uh, so you're trying to add just only one object. Object, add objects, then click on this say username. I'm getting. Why is it? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Can maybe you do just the same reason. for Gmail? Hmm? Can you do the same for Gmail? Sorry? Can you do the same for Gmail? Gmail? I think so. It works. Okay. Object. Add objects. It's working. <laughs> Sam? Yeah. Uh, I got the same error before, after. Which one? What's that error? Whatever she's showing. You got the same error? Yeah, when it's when on Firefox, when I switch to IE, it's working. Maybe because any version compatibility? Maybe, but uh, when she had all the objects, then it works, right? Yes, just now what you show like add on see you can do you know, uh, every link and the uh, username there and everything is working but I, then I ask you know, when I try to add one more thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, probably like uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, anyway that's uh for the time being you can work? play with that. You can play with adding all the objects. Can do you use the work if she like use object file and just add the object from the object file when she finds the right object? Yeah, you can. She can do that. So you can this object file. Probably like you can try that. So yeah, go to this uh, tool subjects file and then spy an object. Like one of the objects. You can spy an object. If it shows, then uh, you can uh, select this one, add object to the okay. Okay. Uh, I All right, so this is the basic scripting anyway, like what we tried today. So this is how you do the scripting.
um, in the real time projects. So what you can do is probably uh, now we just we created for for Sunday's assignment. We already got this uh, link. So this is what uh, you can try once you log in. Right. So this is the assignment for the next class. Go to these uh, accounts, and then I want uh, you to create at least two scripts. One script to create account, and the other script to create find accounts. Just create two shared object repositories for each component. Right. Create one. Share of the repository for this create account, and then so here don't play with all the all the edit boxes. Just so only the mandatory field is account name. Just you can create a script for just enter some account name and then create a script. Similarly, find accounts. Create one more script, one more share of the repository, and then do the scripting for find accounts. So there are the two scripts that you can do for next one. Just to be familiar with how to create share of the repositories for each component and then how to do the scripting. Okay. You have to use it uh, with the repository, not the descriptive, right? Yes, share of the repository. Descriptive we we discuss later. Okay. Um, uh, do we need to uh, as, I mean, uh, select all uh, the objects in the create account and uh, another account that you said? Yeah, you add all the objects, but you are going to do the scripting only for the account name. Okay, okay, mandatory. Yeah. Uh, Sam? Mm -hmm. Uh, in find accounts, uh, after creating account only, we can find the account, right? Because there are no yeah. objects in the find account, as of now. Yeah, once you create, then it will show. Okay. So that means we have to fill all the uh, fields or only manage to fill it and up there? Yes, yeah. What are the fields that comes up for find accounts? Yeah. Okay. Sam, can you type the URL of that um, of that website one more time? Because I think whenever I go there, it shows me some different thing. Like it has uh, docs, wiki, and e-commerce next week. Okay, so that's the link, and those are the usernames and passwords. That is part of the framework, like okay. So the folder structures, everything we are going to discuss later. It's too early. First, we need to understand the basic features in UFT before we talk about the framework and the coding standards. Okay, so you have to learn the UFT features. You have to do, you have to learn first the VB scripting. Then we talk about the, the framework and the coding standards.
Fires, any other questions for the course today? Um, uh, Sam. Yeah. I mean, I'm just wondering, like, if you have any other um, website, like demo website for financial, like banking. Yeah, or, we can like, also, once we just we're going to do some practice on this CRM first, and then we will work on the banking application later. Okay, and also you have like medical applications and all that. Yeah, I have some banking applications. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sam, the reason I was asking because um, I know about a little bit of uh, GDP and, um, and automation. H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.